Hello Wolves, so today's video is all about the Marvel and Popular Opinions tag that is not going around anymore uh, but I just decided to do it, why not? These are my unpopular opinions, these are opinions that the general audience I guess wouldn't agree to but I don't know, I know some people would agree, um, this is a kind of a flawed video from the start but oh well. <laughs> so um, I'm going to name some opinions of mine explain them and then I want you to do the same in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What unpopular opinions do you guys have about the Marvel movies? Okay, up first we've got Age of Ultron. I actually like Age of Ultron. I don't think it's as bad of a movie as people make it out to be. My main thing that I like about the movie is obviously they introduced Scarlet Witch, um, but was the fact that you could see people doing stuff in the background and I bet you're thinking at home, what are you on about? That's just what happens in movies in general. But I like that when we had a scene with, for example, I don't know, Tony, you could see Steve in the background just walking around the compound and it just made it feel a bit more realistic in a world full of superheroes and gods. But <laughs> it just made it feel more realistic. Um, I like that they all kind of live together because that was the thing and that you could see Natasha in the, in the background doing something while we focused on Bruce or you could see them walking around like they actually lived there and they were debriefing other missions or finding out information about the current mission I just like that little element this film gets a lot of like bad comments and stuff but I don't think it's that bad out of the four Avengers films we got I agree it's the weakest but I really enjoy Age of Ultron and I could watch it over and over again okay so we're going to move on to Guardians of the Galaxy my two favourite Guardian members are Rocket and Nebula. Nebula, I don't know if you can count her as a Guardian, but she definitely is in my mind. Um, Rocket is just so cool. It's a talking raccoon. Why else would you, you know, have it at the top of your list? No. I love Rocket. I love his inner struggles and I just love his character arc. Um, and Nebula. For a character that was going to be killed off in the first Guardians film, she has progressed so much. I mean, she's going to be killed off. And now she is, she was one of the main players in Endgame. Like, whoa. <laughs> Speaking of Endgame, my next two unpopular opinions are to do with that film. I believe Clint should have died instead of Natasha. I don't know if this is that unpopular. Um, only because I get that it tied up her arc quite nicely. Um, there was that thing about it being refrigerator syndrome again. I don't know about that. But I just... How heroic would it have been if he went out like that? I know they were tossing it around and no one actually knew whether it would be Clint or Natasha when they were writing the script. They kept like mixing and matching. But I really think Natasha should have lived. I mean, maybe it was to do, maybe Scarlett wanted to leave, I don't know. Um, I heard an interview or read an interview where the people that wrote the script um, were saying that they couldn't choose between the two and some people in their office, specifically women I think it was, said that you should give it to Natasha and let her have this moment, which I agree, this is a great moment for Natasha, give her something, but in the long run I think you're going to really miss having a Black Widow. Um, I don't know whether they will be doing more prequel films or whether Yelena will survive, I don't know about that, and become the next Black Widow in the Avengers franchise. Also to do with Endgame, Cap's character arc at the end of that film was completely out of character. I am sorry, but like, Peggy got married, she moved on, she had kids, she had a lovely life, and she loved her husband. Steve, in comparison to that long life, was a fling, <laughs> if anything. I understand that to Steve it, was, it wasn't as long ago as it was for Peggy, but come on, Steve. She would have married and had kids and she would have lived a long and happy life and she would have been a successful woman. I also don't believe that he would have left Bucky, having only just been woken up from cryo, to fend for himself. I know he's got Sam, but do you know what I mean? Just, sorry Buck, I'm gonna go bang my girl. Like, what the hell, Steve? I, I think he was a lot more selfish in this film and Steve's not normally that selfish. We have got instances where he may have you know, done something for himself where maybe he could have done more for others, but that's just a normal human reaction, whereas this is a ginormous decision that I don't think Steve Rogers would have done. Speaking of Bucky, uh, The Winter Soldier is one of the best Marvel films ever, <laughs> okay? I, this is one of the best, I'm not saying it's the best, so don't at me, but The Winter Soldier is such a good 
film. It's so different from the cap before and it just set the bar for a lot of the Marvel films and I love it so much. I could watch that film over and over again and it would I just love I just love everything about that film. I I think a lot of people, except my parents when I showed them the film, knew that that would have been Bucky and it was a nice little reveal and it just Okay, Darcy Lewis. Let's speak about Darcy Lewis for a second. I am excited and ecstatic that she's back at the MCU. You guys mightn't be. I love Darcy. She was one of the only comic reliefs we got for the first two uh, Thor films and I really, really love it. I'm glad she's back. She's coming back in one division. I don't know how she's going to be put into that situation but I'm really glad she's back. Um, I know that she gets on a lot of people's nerves and I don't know why. She was basically us. If we were in that situation, I'm sorry, if a god fell from the sky, would you not be super sarcastic and question everything? And take pictures and put it on Facebook. That's what people would do. But I am really excited for her to be back. Can't wait for this. I want to know what she's doing in WandaVision. Is she helping the FBI? Will she be in the next fall? I don't know. There's so many questions. And also, she's a legend. Okay? Oh, let's just draw a line under Darcy. Romance in the MCU is very hit or miss. Tony and Pepper, yes. Peggy and Steve, when they were in the 40s, yes. Uh, Steve and Sharon, no. Jane and Thor, mm, didn't really work for me. But it's very hit or miss. They tend to always give them a love interest, and that's why I was quite happy in Captain Marvel when she didn't really have one. Um, like Doctor Strange's love interest, like she's. Rachel McAdams was in it for like two seconds. The thing with Pepper and Tony is you've seen it built up throughout the movies and because she was in Avengers and stuff you just see little bits of their relationship. So when it like culminated in Endgame it was really beautiful to see. Um, other relationships like Steve and Peggy it was really beautiful in the 40s. It was just like wartime and you didn't know if you are going to survive the next day so flings everywhere and stuff like that. <laughs> And him going back, that's an I've already said about it, but that's just annoying to me. Jane of Four, I yes, I liked it, but yeah. I'm more excited that she's coming back in the next one though. Uh what other relationships? I've already said Doctor Strange. Oh Betty Ross, she's not even appeared in anything anymore. Her dad has, but she hasn't. Um I understand that it is weird how it's owned by two different studios, but surely she could be in a film, even if she's just like there. Oh, MJ. I really, I actually quite like MJ and Peter in this universe. Um, I love their little like shy kiss on um, the latest movie, which I can't remember for some reason what the name is. Uh, Far from home. I love their little shy kiss on the bridge, and I just, I think it's a good overall like arc for their characters because they're still school age kids. You know, they're not gonna be getting married anytime soon, they're just shy about it and I really appreciate they didn't rush it. And that he had like a different love interest in the first film, it wasn't straight in with MJ. Okay, so the first full film was really really boring, I'm pretty sure that's not an unpopular opinion and I'm just gonna leave it there. Both Tony and Steve were right in the Civil War debate. I kinda lean more towards Tony's side because I love angst. Like if I <laughs> I do. If I read any books, like, I don't know if you can see my bookshelf, you probably can't. It, most of it is angst, because <laughs> I love what, reading angst and then reading the, like, resolution to it, and I love watching it too. So, I was on Tony's side more because, like, Cat proper beat him up. Maybe they could have explained it a bit better to Tony, about his parents, and about how the brain washing by Hydra works, but then I also get Captain America's side because that's his best friend who didn't mean to do any of this. So I'm on both sides of the uh, war per se, but I do tip to Tony's side from time to time. And my last unpopular opinion is that Captain Marvel is not that bad and Brie Larson is not a bad Captain Marvel. Now, <laughs> I don't understand the hate for her, I honestly don't. Uh, I think Black Widow should have been made before Captain Marvel. I think Captain Marvel was kind of just pushed in there and they gave her a really weird origin about her 
always being there but not actually helping like where the fuck were you during all the wars that we recently had um but i don't mind the movie i enjoyed it goose is my favorite character but i don't mind it captain marvel is not my favorite character and that's not because she plays her it's just because he's not my favorite character in the comics either but you know it's personal taste i don't mind the film I just not fussed on the character and that's not because of Brie Larson because I really like her in other things. I like her in Scott Pilgrim, Scott Pilgrim was my favourite film. <laughs> I like her in other things and I think she gets a lot of hate for this really unnecessary, sorry, the, un bleh, unnecessarily. That's the word I was going for. She does and I think she gave it her all and she's been training and it's just sad to see because she was so, so upbeat about it and so happy and excited for this role and people kind of teared her down. And I'm not going to sit here and go, oh, it's men. It's just men. It's not just men. It's everyone. Um, because I was one of those people when it was first announced because I was so mad because Black Widow wasn't getting a movie. <laughs> like I said, I enjoy the film. I'm just not fussed on the character because she's not my favourite character. But I do enjoy her being in the MCU. I think it was a good ad, I just think it was a bit late or because they were I think technically gonna add her in Age of Ultron I think it was the deleted scene but I don't know I think she was kind of like pushed in there like shoehorned in there and yeah I don't mind it okay <laughs> that's my unpopular opinion and she's not a bad actress she really isn't and I'm excited to see what happens so that is it um I don't know how long this video is going to be, probably extremely short so I'm really sorry uh, but I thought I'd do an unpopular tag because I've never done one, no one's tagged me by the way, I just said tag on the end to make it seem like I have friends but no one's tagged me. Um, let me know down below your unpopular opinions, do you agree with any of these, do you disagree? If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up, it would mean a lot to me. Subscribe to my channel if you liked this video because I do videos like this every single week I post on Tuesdays but sometimes other days so if you want to be notified please click that bell down below. I have a Twitter, Tumblr and Instagram that you can go follow, they are in the description and at the end of this video. Leave some video suggestions, let me know how your day has been. I'm not sure what next week's video will be yet, uh, hopefully something to do with Batman and Joker because I haven't done a DC video in what feels like years. Um, but if you do have suggestions, like I said, please leave them down below and I will see you next time. Bye little walls. I'm giving you a night of cannibal you I want you